The Orthodox Church started their new year tomorrow and commemorating how God created the world. The season of creation begins tomorrow with the World Day of Prayer for Creation. It's part of a month-long series of events and it comes after we approach the fifth anniversary of the letter Pope Francis wrote wanting everyone to care for the planet. Joining me now with more insight is Andrea Galliaducci, Vatican analyst for EWTN. Good to see you, Andrea. Now, where does this tradition come from? Well, the tradition of the season of creation was established back in 1989 by the ecumenical patriarch Demetrios that proposed to have a season for creation one month from the beginning of the Orthodox year to the feast of St. Francis, October 4th, dedicated to the care of creation. This proposal was welcomed by many Christian confessions, including the Catholic Church. So ever since, there are a span of initiatives during this period, and the Catholic Church takes part to these initiatives as well. Obviously, this year is particular for the Catholic Church because it's also the fifth anniversary of the uh, uh, the promulgation of the encyclical Laudato Si by Pope Francis that was dedicated to ecology as well. And so that it's, it's included in a series of celebrations that last the whole year. And speaking of that celebration, what are some of the uh, other events that are included in the season of creation? Well, Pope Francis tomorrow will deliver a message, uh, as usual, and then there are messages from most of the Christian dioceses, Catholic dioceses all over the world, and initiatives in dioceses all over the world. Especially if you check the Vatican website, there is a website just for the season of creation. Well, there are a lot of webinars and a series of focus on the application of the integral ecology. It's a particular branch of the ecology that is based on human being. Because, you know, ecology for the Catholic social teaching is something that goes from, you know, the care for the human being to the care of the environment. It's not detached. Exactly. And remind us exactly what that Laudato Si says and why Pope Francis wrote it. Well, Pope Francis identified in the ecological quest, in the ecological issue, one of the core issues of the current world. Laudato Si was published back in 2015. It's not just an encyclical on the care for, the, for our, our common home, as the title says, but it's mostly an encyclical on social teaching of the Church. It goes from the no to the abortion to the care of the common home, which means also all the ecological issues that are important now, and it served as the guidelines for the Holy See diplomacy uh, in these five years. The Holy See took part to many ecological meetings. Uh, it signed the Paris Agreement for the reduction of the pollution all over the world. So it was quite important, and it was uh, quite read all over the world. Very important there. And Andrea, thank you so much for joining us again. Andrea, a Vatican analyst for EWTN News. Thank you. Thank you.